All right, guys. So t today, first of all, it's Monday. Welcome back. We got about two weeks of spring break. I'm already on the countdown. I'm pretty sure you guys are. Um, today, we're going to do something really easy. You guys have already done this. But we're going to do converting uh, customary units of length, which basically means we're going to convert feet to inches or yard to feet or yard to inches or even a mile to yards or feet. Okay? So the first thing we need to do is we need to set up our paper so we can have our Cornell notes. And remember, I'm going to draw a line about three quarters of the way down my page. Oh, I need to put this up on the screen for my class. There you guys go. I'm going to draw a line about three quarters of the way down my book. And I'm going to use the, the three fingers to space it. And then I'm going to draw a line down, okay? And now remember that I'm going to draw a line across the top for the top of my lazy eye. And then I'm going to put lesson. Okay. And then everybody should be able to go find the lesson. It's 13 1, and it's converted. Customary. Customary units of length, okay? Just put a line across the top. You'll see in the end how a little bit. Okay, and then the next thing I'm going to do, and I'm always making sure I'm skipping lines, so I'm going to start over here, but I'm going to have my essential question. How do you change from one, from one unit of length to another? Okay, and then so one of the ways I could do this is I have a conversion table. Okay, so I'm gonna do a customary unit, customary units of length. Okay, and then what does customary? What are customary units? Can we think of the difference between customary and metric? A metric would be a centimeter, but a customary is an inch. Okay? So the first thing I might have is I might have one foot. I'll try to use different colors. Equals 12 inches. I might have one yard equals three feet, which equals thirty six inches. Okay. I might have one mile, and that's MI equals one thousand seven hundred and sixty yards. What's your return equals? 
5,280 feet. But guys, we're working right now, and then if you need to catch up, you can catch up. Okay? Now let's think about this. I have this right here. What is... Let me see something. There, that looks better. Okay. Now, what is something I can remind... Do I need to remember all this stuff? All this can be found... Found... On FSA reference sheet. Remember the sheet that we have stapled in the back of our book? How many of us have that in the back of our notebook? Does it have our units of measurements? Okay. So that's all we're going to do today is transfer from one to the other, okay? And let me do a couple. Of, let me do. I'm going to do two different examples with you guys, okay? And I'm going to do, from guy to practice, I'm going to do number five. So I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to do number five. And for number five, I have 219 inches. So 219 inches. How can I find out how many feet are in 219 inches? Uh, how, Jeffrey? Divide, divide. divide them by what? Um, I'm going to divide by 12. So I'm going to do 219 inches divided by 12. Why am I dividing by 12? Because there's, what, Abby? 12, 12 inches and a foot. So does 12 go into 2? No. Does 12 go into 21? Yes. One time. 12 times 1 is 12. So give me 9. 12 does not go into 9. So I'm going to bring down my 9. Does 12 go into 99? Yes. yes. 8 times. 8 times 12 is 96. This is going to leave me 3. Okay. Does 12 go into 3? No. And I don't... And I could I could do this one or two ways. I could have a remainder of 3. Which is probably the easiest way. Or I could turn that into a decimal. If I was going to turn that into a decimal, I would add a decimal point. I would annex a 0. Okay? Do we know how to do that? Mm -hmm. Alright. So I have 18 feet remaining and 3 what? Centimeters? I'm not quite sure. Inches. What? Inches. So I could write my answer as 18 feet and 3 inches. Or I could write, let's go with 18 feet. Actually, I messed up there. I'm going to cross it out. 18 and one-fourth of a foot. Now, the reason I could do one-fourth of a foot is because I know there's three inches out of 12, which gives me three over 12, which is equivalent to one-fourth. So one-fourth of a foot equals three inches. And the way we know that is if I did one-fourth equals... And I put it over 12. 4 goes into 12 3 times. So we'd multiply 1 by 3. And that would give us 3 over 12. Okay. The next thing we're going to be asked to do in this section. And I'm going to use number 6 from Guide to Practice. Skip a spot. Is I have to... Compare links, write greater than, less than, or equal to. So I'm going to write 64 inches, 
two yards. And it could be greater than, less than, or equal to, okay? Those are my options. So if I come over here, the easiest thing for me to do is to put this in like terms. Okay? So I could either turn 64 inches into a yard, or I could turn two yards into inches. I think it would be easiest to turn two yards into inches. So I would do two yards equals how many inches? And it would be two times what, Alex? Three. Not three. Because look, guys, one yard equals 36 inches. So if one yard equals 36 inches, how many does two equal, Abby? You have to multiply 36 times two. 36 times two. Two times six is 12. 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1 is 72. So 2 yards is equivalent to 72 inches. Okay? Is 72 inches greater than, less than, or equal to 64 inches? Greater than, right? Guys, we should always do this. If we are converting like units, we should always do this right here. Figure out the simplest term. One yard equals 36 inches. Then find out the equivalent are converted, okay? Guys, in fifth grade, you will never be asked to convert inches to centimeters or, or, centimeter, or kilometers to feet. You will always stay within the same type of measurement. Then I'm going to close this out and I'm going to write summary. If you were in my morning class and you were watching this for homework, your job is to comment down below and let me know you watched it. Okay? And then your job is to tell me what color shirt I had on today. Alright. Have a great day.